Hi all, Diane here. It's been a while since I made a video. Um, I am at, I'm getting my hair done and I'm at the Studio City. I'm in Studio City, California, which is part of LA. It's a, neighbor, it's a neighborhood in Los Angeles in the Valley. And I'm at the famous Sportsman's Lodge Hotel, which has now become a mall, an outdoor mall. The hotel appears to still be here. I, if you look in my playlist, you'll see Sportsman's Lodge Hotel from 2018 when my friend Rosie O'Kelly and I were here and Missy Jen. If I'm sure some of you know who those people are. Well, we were here and um, yeah, the hotel, it's been closed for a really long time and they finally built a mall. It's been closed around COVID, the hotel, and they were going to reopen it, but they never did. So anyways, the hotel still stands. I, I've read somewhere that they're trying to make it a historical, like U.S. historical preserved site. And maybe that's why they haven't got rid of the hotel yet. But um, anyways, um, this is me before haircut. Actually, I'm not going to, they don't blow dry your hair there. And um, you have to blow your own hair. It's just a color bar. So I'm probably gonna wear a hat on my way out too. <laughs> and I might film an era one. So if you guys see me in a hat after it gets colored, I'm just getting a color, then you'll know that it's because um, I wasn't able to style my, I mean, sometimes I just go out with it wet or just dry it a little bit. My hair is intense to style with a flat iron and the whole bit. I'm not getting cut, just a color. So anyways, let's uh, turn the, let me, uh, start another uh, segment of this video and show you the outside. So I'm wearing my ripped jeans. Yes, 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 my ripped jeans, which is new to me. I've worn little rips, but never this ripped where like the skin's showing through. These are from, I think these are from Shein. I've gotten really into ripped jeans. <laughs> so um, anyways, and this is the only khaki, I mean, this is the only um, camo cap I own. Did I keep the sticker on it? I think it has a sticker. Yeah, it does. It's one of those that comes with a sticker on top. That people keep on. <laughs> so, if you can see, I can't tell if you can see the sticker, but got a long time ago. I just never wear it because I, I'm not big on camouflage really, but it goes with the screen really well. So I put it on. Anyways. Okay, I'm gonna uh, switch the camera around and now show you guys the outside. Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not able to switch the camera because I didn't, I'm not using Prism, but I'm gonna make another segment right now of the outside and into the mall. Okay, bye. Okay, folks, this is the second part of the video. It is, what's the temp? Oh, I'm guessing it's like in the mid 60s right now, or it said it was gonna be 66, but it's very windy. That's why I'm wearing a long sleeve top because close to 70. I usually wear short sleeves. So here is the parking lot. It's the same Sportsman's Lodge parking lot that I parked in for years. The Sportsman's Lodge is a famous place where they have like weddings, bar mitzvahs, hotel. Um, this is part of the hotel that's even on the video I think Rosie took. Um, if you look at my playlist, we walk right here. Yep, this is where we walk. I'll, I'll look inside the hotel. This was here. If you look at my playlist from Sportsman's Lodge from 2018, you'll see we walked, Rosie O'Kelly and I walked through this. So let's see. Oh, wow. Yes, I remember the lobby. Rosie filmed it. If you look, I think it's in my playlist of Rosie and Missy Jan in here. There's the, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the front desk is, is right forward. It's now covered. That's really cool. And they still have the benches out here. It's been preserved. I've, I've read that they want to preserve it. It's been here since the silent film era of well, this land. And just look up Google. Uh, I mean, uh, look on Wikipedia, Sportsman's Lodge Hotel, and look at the history. When I was here in 2018, visiting Rosie at the hotel, Rosie and Mr. Jen, we went in the pool and the whole bit, it's all in there. They have a huge Olympic-sized swimming pool and that's huge for a hotel of those days, especially of those days. I don't know when the pool opened, but I read that the pool, I think, had salt water when it first opened. And then they put chlorine, of course, later on. 
So this is a mall that's really upscale. It's really nice. This was put in, this used to be like an event center, a huge restaurant. Um, if you look at the video, Rosie, Missy, Jen, and I did eat at the restaurant. So I'm just gonna walk to the place where I'm getting my hair done. It's pretty cool. It's really nice in here. As you can see, it's really upscale. Oh my God, vegan ice cream. I don't have much time until my appointment, but this is where the Erewhon is that I'll probably go into. Let's look in here, this looks pretty cool. I don't have time to look at everything, unfortunately. My appointment is in, let's see, uh, 12 minutes. Well, I have to be there, there might be late. It's in here. So there's the inside, it's pretty cool. Oh wow, look how beautiful. There's, oh, these are the same fish ponds that were there when it was the hotel, they kept some of it. That's right, when it was the event center and the hotel, at one point there was the restaurant where they had bank buffets and fantastic like Thanksgiving buffets, there was a restaurant. Then there was a little restaurant that me, Missy, Jen, and Rosie ate at that's, I'm sure, in my playlist. So I got Rosie's permission to add any videos we've done together of hers in my playlist. Here's a store, Sugar Fish by Sushi. This is so fancy, Fred Siegel. I think Fred Siegel is way expensive. Wow. Zadig and Voltaire. Okay, this is where I go, Madison Reed. This is where I go. Madison Reed, I went here last, I went here, all they do is color. And it's a color bar and style, highlight. Um, they do no cuts. Is everybody in there? A lot of, most people probably have long hair, but I'm growing mine out. I, don't, I haven't had a cut in a while. And you guys all know what happened to my other hairdresser with my, my whole situation, why I dumped him and all that after many, many years of him being my hairstylist. So, Auburn's parachute. These are all fancy. So I'll try to I'll try to film inside um, inside the uh, salon just to, to show you guys what it's like. I'll make a little quickie. Maybe I'll make a short. You know, one of those things called a short. So this is Erewhon. This is probably the most um, expensive supermarket chain in LA County. I don't know if it's privately owned supermarkets, you know. Maybe I'll go in here real quick since I've got time. I'll do that now as part of this video. They'll allow me to film in here, guys. But they've got a fantastic hot food bar. Oh my gosh, look at all this. And the prices are way high. I'm gonna buy something on my way out, like I did last time, and I'll taste test. I'll make a video. Uh, year one, the prices are outrageous. I don't have my glasses on. Okay, this is 15 or 13, I can't read it. Looks like 15 for that. I don't know what it is, but. Bacon lasagna, so that's what's good about them. They have a lot of plant-based stuff. For, I'm, I'm a vegetarian, I do eat like real cheese on vegetarian lasagna, but it has vegan cheese, I'm sure. And here's their hot food, which is like fantastic. Wow. Very expensive. You get like combos, combo plates. This is more expensive. I want to say this quietly. This is more expensive than Whole Foods. <laughs> so if you've been, I'm sure a lot of you have been to Whole Foods because they're national. I think Erewhon might just be in SoCal or even LA County. I don't know if other counties near me have Erewhon's. Okay, I got a salad like this last time. These salads are not, everything is outrageously. Okay, $17.50. Wait. Yeah, these 
things are pricey. I can't afford to shop here every day and do all my shopping here, but I will splurge and buy a few things. So I'll probably buy some ready-made uh, vegan food. They do count some ready-made vegan foods. As well as, you know, they have vegetarian. Let's see if they have vegetarian lasagna like they did last time when they my friend told me about. It tells what's in everything and they help you really well here. Oh, there's a coffee bar over there. Let's see if they can come. They help you really well with anything you want. Look how proud it is. There's so many people close that I can't even film it here. I can't even film it here. Look at this line. I'll try to walk through a little at the market. I've got about six minutes. I'm just going to try to walk kind of fast to show you guys some of the stuff and how beautiful. How this organic. This puts Whole Foods to shame, sort of. <laughs> Except their prices are higher than Whole Foods. But it's more beautiful and more ex exclusive. Though they do have some things you can buy in normal stores, like Khalifa. I bought that at uh, you know, Ralph's or Safeway, just regular ordinary grocery stores that aren't out of the way, out of the way expensive now that stuff. Some of their stuff, like, oh, they have Amy's, okay. Follow selection, look at all the Amy's, wow. This is even Amy's. Vegan, yeah, this kind of place, just like Whole Foods, caters or helps vegans and vegetarians a lot. Trader Joe's does too, and Trader Joe's is not expensive, and they've gotten really uh, a lot of vegan stuff. Wow, what is this? Swiss chard soup. Let's see how much it is. Fifty. Fifty. So everything says Erewhon on it. This is in like a belt, one of those canning jars. That's really cool. That's really cool. I wonder how much this place pays. I wouldn't, I don't think I'm the type that would ever want to work in a grocery store, but I bet you this is one of the well paid ones. I know most regular grocery stores are union, but unfortunately, I know they don't make much. I mean, I know. <laughs> Believe me, I know, but here, hopefully, they do. By the clientele that comes here, wealthy, wealthy, wealthy. I'm telling you, if they can afford to shop here for their everyday groceries. And I have someone in my family that does that, so. who's very wealthy, <laughs> who I think does most of her shopping here, or at least at Whole Foods a lot. If I go, let's see, I'm on one time. Let's see if I go to five times. Okay, that might be better if I zoom out a little bit. Oh, nice guy was dodging my camera. That's pretty cool. I'm doing this again. Okay. This place is really upscale. Oh, they've got all the Siete grain free. Those are really good. Look at all these weird brands. I've never seen anything like this. So that's it. I'm going to end it now, folks. Here, I'll try to put it on me. I can't flip the camera, but hi, if you can see me. <laughs> but anyways, um, that's it. Have a good day, and I will probably make a video in the salon. Bye. Hi all, I just made a video inside Erewhon that I'm going to attach to this probably. So uh, now I'm going to my Madison Reed Color Bar, which I just found out about, I don't know, I heard about Color Bars. $80 for root, for uh, just roots and other like highlights cost more, whole hair costs more. Um, they sell their dye and they have like videos on how to do it yourself, but I'd rather have them do it. They also have like where you could pay a membership fee and get it done your roots done every six weeks or something really cheap if you want to do that they've got deals where you pay a membership fee you can and then they've got one where you can come in as often as you want and either get your roots done or your whole hair done <laughs> it's crazy but 
Yeah, I was real happy the last time. So let's go in and tell them I'm here. Hi, I have a 245. Okay, take your time. So, pretty cool. Is this hello, beautiful. All women in here, uh, long hair. I'll have long hair. And it uh, doesn't really matter, roots are the same whether you have short hair or long hair, but if you have long hair coloring, it takes longer, I'm sure. I don't know, since I've had my hair colored, I've never had long hair. <laughs> I haven't had long hair since, really long hair, since I was about 18 or se maybe 17, so. It's pretty cool, yeah, they sell all their stuff. All their supplies, but they, they color match me really well. They're experts at that. These are colorists, and the one I saw was also a hairstylist in a salon in Northridge, but um, you make your appointment online. You can't even call the salon because I tried to call them. It goes to like a main number, <laughs> and that's all they do, and they have tea, and it's really, I might make a short of them showing me, serving me the tea. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it's like all kinds of fancy teas and you, they even have raw sugar that raw fancy sugar you know they have Splenda too I think it's just really cool so, anyways um, I already showed you Erewhon so I am going to go there on the way out so um, Erewhon's included in this vlog um, it's cute the way it says hello beautiful I'll show you see where it says hello beautiful can I show you that And you know what's weird is this place is reasonable. It's it's a chain. It's a chain. They're all over the place. I think they're national, but um, this is the closest one to me. And they're all online where you make appointments. Mine is uh, uh, $80, but your first time you get a discount. Your second time, I think I get a 5% discount. Uh, I think I say 5 five or ten dollars on that eighty dollars I saw something come up when I booked the appointment I'm gonna ask about it because then it went away the discount when I did something else but yeah even my hair color what they used on me is in their in the computer and they mixed both a 6.5 and a 7.5 to get my seven so she said you're a seven so which is mixing those two I guess I guess there is no seven I don't know but um, she mixed a 6.5 and a 7.5. Perfect color match. So I won't show you now because my gray roots are showing. <laughs> so anyways, take care everyone. And because um, she only did, you know, the top part, of course. It's grown out now my gray roots are showing. So, okay, I'll just wait and I'm going to upload this video. Bye everyone.